Alright, so let's take on this boss. We'll see what we get from the boss. I don't know if it will give me some sort of ability to, I don't know, jump higher or get to higher places, but... Come hither. Eat this. And you missed me, you stupid lady. I am definitely going to need some potions in this fight. Now, I think she takes control of Jonathan and makes Charlotte fight him with her seductive abilities. And I don't blame Jonathan, really. Here we go. Yeah, so now I have to be really careful because otherwise... Look, I'm like... Oh, Jesus! That was... That just became really terrible really fast. We're going to try that again. And I will check to see how long I've been recording. I would suspect that um, we are into the next part, which would be part eight. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so let's just say that we are in the next part now. And this part will indeed be the, uh, the boss fight part. Come hither. I'm not impressed at all by the lack of damage that Don Quixote does. Which means that we'll have to rely on magic to fight. Uh, no, you don't. Did she say touch me? I think she said touch me. Oh, God. Already using potions. May as well use two. Probably going to need two. No. Okay, so sometimes it's good to go backwards, sometimes it's good to go forwards. I would say it's safe to go backwards, really. Why can't she just walks into me? You're so annoying. Alright. Last potion. Let's make it count. That is not ideal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got, uh, I was a victim of the double hit on the axe, which is annoying, but, um, anyway, we'll try again. When it comes to boss fights, you just keep doing it repeatedly, and you'll get the point. You'll work out how to do it well. Oh, God. That, yeah, because... If I'm too close to her, I get hit by it anyway. You can't really... Yeah. If you're going to evade it, you have to go past her. I may use a potion momentarily. Ugh. I'm glad there's a delay on that attack. Let's use a potion. Just to play it safe. Okay. Oh, I should be using Strength Up, I'm an idiot. I, I told you guys that I would forget to use it. There we go. It's better if I don't have to switch to Charlotte, because Jonathan is a bit dangerous when he's trying to kill me. Temptation. I couldn't really hear what she said, I thought she was saying touch me, but she's saying temptation. She's sort of like, um, announcing what she's doing. Temptation. As long as you know it's coming, you can evade it pretty easily. There we go. Not a very difficult boss, but of course I make it look more difficult than it actually is. That is one of my talents, I have to say. I think I only used one potion, which is pretty good, I guess. It's not horrendous, regardless. But I guess the first attempt might have been horrendous. Yeah, yeah. Deal your damage. So I think I have a skill cube coming soon. It's just a bit further down. But I want to fully explore this particular sector first. Which I think is in this corner. No, it's in the other corner. God, that's annoying to have to do. Here we go. Aha, uh -huh, it increases pushing power. Good to know. I know where I can use that. I don't think it would really give me access to anything new, but, you know. I can think of one place in the castle that would allow me to get access to a shortcut, if I did that. Anyway, so I think I have pretty much 
achieved everything I wanted to achieve in the Sandy Graveyard. As you can see, we do have certain areas that are not fully explored. But the reality is that we cannot actually get to those places yet. Again, one of them requires us to transform into a creature that can actually maneuver itself into that area. And another, possibly the same thing, maybe a flying creature, so that we can go into a more vertical area. So yeah, I think we may very well be done with the Sandy Grave for the moment. Oof. Let's go strength up. I have not been using this at all. And it's quite sad that I have not been using it, so. We're going to head down to the warp point that will hopefully take us. Oh, hold on, I just had a thought. I didn't do this last time. I need to fully explore. Actually, no, I'm misplaced. I thought I was somewhere else. Uh, we want to head down. I'm going to try and fully explore this area. I think it's just a matter of me jumping in the right corner again. Here we go. So we've got that explored. It just helps for later when I return here. I think I will return here. Hey, how about we not actually... I think I managed to discover a bit more of that. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to manually go to the uh, exit point. And the reason why was because I had a little bit more of that sector to discover. And I did discover a tiny little bit of it, I think. But I've still got that last little corner, which I can't actually reach with my current uh, setup. So, Oh, God. You are really annoying, you know that. Okay. Now, in... Po <laughs> I was about to say Portrait of Ruin. In Symphony of the Night, doing this is a good way to get around. <laughs> Not in this game. But anyway. Let us return to the castle. I will go and buy some potions. And I will continue recording for as long as, I guess, I should for this video. I will check how long we've been recording once I have bought those potions. There will be a lot of potion buying that goes on in this Let's Play, I think you guys will find. So if you have something against me buying potions, this is going to be a very annoying Let's Play for you to watch. But of course, you probably don't have anything against me buying potions, I wouldn't think. Now again, we do have a task to complete with uh, wind that involves something to do with a butcher shop. And the reality is that I have yet to actually find the butcher shop. And I think we will probably find it soon. Probably. Probably. Let's say probably a few more times. Anyway, I think we can actually access... This is just a thought, but I think we can access... The upper towers that you're seeing now. In the top screen. Or maybe I can't. No, I can't. Damn it. Okay, well that's going to require... Even more verticality, which is fine, I guess. I know where I can go. And we're going to use the warp for this. It's just a little bit further along, but there is a point that we were able to double jump in the Great Stairway. Is that what it was called? Maybe not. But anyway, we're about to see. Yeah, I was right, the Great Stairway. So there was an area that I was able to double jump to in there. Or maybe I already went there. I don't remember. Anyway, let's have a look and see. I do enjoy the music here. I enjoy the music in this game overall. Actually, I forgot to check the time. I will check that now. I've got about six minutes, so... Yeah. What was she saying there? Ugh. Yeah, sometimes when you come across enemies, particularly female ones, they'll have something to say to you, and it can be quite funny. I think there was one in Order of Ecclesia. What, what did she say again? She would, like, scream insults at you and attack you. It was kind of entertaining. But, uh, anyway. Maybe she's in this game as well, I can't remember. Oh yeah, we can unlock a shortcut here, I think. Using that uh, newfound ability. Here we go. We may as well push that all the way to the other end. Now, what's here, actually? Can we... No, we can't really do anything there. Let us go and continue. Oh, God. I guess moving it all the way across doesn't make a difference because it just returns to its original position. Which is lovely to see. Alright, let's head up here. See what's happening. Can I one-shot them with strength up? Let's see. No. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what's up here? Is this what I think it is? 
No. Okay. I'm not even going to say what I thought it was. Because maybe that would be somewhat spoilery. Oh my god, it's the dog dragon thing. I remember you. Glacia Labolas. I don't know. Glacia Labolas? I don't know. I think I've seen that before. I just don't know how to say it. One of those things that you've seen written, but never heard said. So you're not sure how to actually um, pronounce it. Oh my god. I wish there was more of a um, invulnerability period in this game after you got hit, but maybe I'm asking for too much. I see a health max up. Can you not? Maybe I should use the spear. Maybe that's safer. I think I was taking less hits with the spear, so or the partisan, whatever. But yeah, I would say I was right about that. At this point, I'm trying to get to that health max up. Ooh. No, you don't. I'm going to kill you without taking a hit, I swear. I will manage this. There we go. In case you hadn't worked it out, I have been having some issues with uh, mimic, mimic, so I can't speak. But yeah. Now I do apologize for the weird sounds, or not the weird sounds, the crackling nature of the sound effect of me picking up that potion, because yeah, that's not something that I can help. If it's a continuous sound, I can apply denoising to it within the emulator. But if it's a sound that appears for a short time, it's just going to be crackly and there's nothing I can do about it, so... You have my apologies. So this is the Great Stairway. I was wondering how it was the Great Stairway, because there was no Great Stairway. Well, I found it. Here's a monocle. That is terrible, actually. Let's not equip the monocle. I'm going to try and fully explore this place. It might be hard, but we'll see. I hate the boomerang skeletons, by the way. They give me the shits. Looks like we can't fully explore it, but that's all right. Now that I'm at the great stairway, finally, let's just focus on the stairway. Ooh, boomerang. This may be better than everything that I've actually picked up so far. Let's try and use it, shall we? That's not how you do that. Whoa. That's kind of shit. Let's uh, see if we can... I mean, that's not useful at all. I may as well use the fucking throwing knife. Let's have a look and see how the knife compares. Okay, maybe <laughs> the boomerang's a little bit better. But I'm still not going to use it. It's not doing that much damage. I think the axe is really good, though. Let's have a look. I pressed uh, triangle because that's what I'm used to in Symphony of the Night. That's how you go back in that game. So, triangle to go back. Might be a thing in older games, I don't know. I'm not much of a retro gamer. I mean, it's pr I'm probably more retro than others of my generation, but as far as retro gaming is concerned in general, I'm not much of one, so... Yeah. Some would probably consider it to be a little offensive to refer to, <laughs> like, GameCube era as retro, but I'm saying it's more retro than others. They're not entirely retro. Alright. Damn you. Not a fan of the, the boom not the boomerang skeletons, the archer skeletons. I'm gonna see how long I've been recording for. Damn it. I'm at the point now where I really want to end this soon. And I don't know where there is a save point. That happens in Castlevania sometimes. Ugh. The Great Stairway, indeed. Well, see what we can do. I haven't come across a save point for a while, which is always a good sign if you're looking for one. But again, I have no idea. This guy is a little shy, and would rather just die than attack me, so... There's that. Oh, looks like we can access another part to the Great Stairway from up here. What's this? Boost strength temporarily. Oh, I'm an idiot. I need to fucking equip it first. Strength boost. Okay. And does she have to stand there again? Well, fine. You can stand there. 
I'm in a big area, so it won't be an issue. It seems that all spells casted by her, or cast by her, rather, casted, are going to require her to stand in one place the whole time. Let's have a look. Is she still there? Oh no, it looks like she moved, I don't know. What's in here? Is it a save point? No. Aha! It's the start of that area. Well, that's interesting. Okay, now, I think there's a... Oh, it looks like it's not around here. I saw a switch before that was something I could press down, but it looks like yeah, that's not something I can access right now. Can I go further down here? Because it looks like I've missed something. Yes, it's over this way. I'm going this way because it could be a save point. Okay. Stop it. Oh. I see you. It's a tome for Charlotte to use. It's a Tome of Arms, possibly Tome of Arms 2. I see you. I see you. I think there were two of them just sort of mimicking each other's movements. Yeah, it's Tome of Arms 2. Assuming it's better than Don Quixote, yes. Alrighty. Sorry, Don. You've been replaced already. I only got you somewhat recently. Uh, I'm a little concerned by the fact that we are running into possibly part 9. It depends. I might have to run into part 9, I really don't know. Either part 8 will be long, or there will be 9 parts in this recording, I don't know. This is... I don't really have much control over the situation at this point, because I'm waiting to get to a save point. Damn it, what is that beneath me? I can't get there. I don't think. Well, whatever. You guys are so annoying, you really are. I'm at a point in my health now where I'm actually at risk of death, so I am going to use one potion. I'm probably very close to a save point, but whatever. Better than nothing. Oh, and I just discovered that. Well, whatever. I think I see a save point on the map. You can see that one room just a little bit further down, that's probably a save point. And if it's not a save point, then it's a warp point, which is pretty much the same thing. Just slightly less convenient. <laughs> but anyway. Hello. Frickin' Uka back. I think they were called gremlins in uh, Symphony of the Night. Whatever floats their boat. <laughs> what have we got? Warp point? Okay. I guess we'll make do with a warp point. Will this be a longer video? I think so. What I'll try to do is balance it out a little bit. Uh, I'll go here. Yeah, that's better. I'll try to balance it by having part 7 be a little bit longer. But yeah. I can only do that so much because I was fighting the boss in that video. So Maybe I could have my first shitty attempts at the boss be in that video. I don't know. We'll see. But I do try to balance it out as much as I can. Alright, save point is just up here. May as well attack you. What level are we now? 18. I think we were at 14 when I started the recording of part 7. Anyway, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys when I'm next recording Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Bye-bye.